So you need to know about the structure of a nerve cell, which we call a neuron. So a neuron is a nerve cell, and it goes something like this. They're long and thin. At one end, we've got a dendron, which is one end of it, and then it's got branched endings are coming off of that called dendrites. And the idea of dendrites is it allows this nerve cell, this neuron, to connect and communicate to other cells. So it's branched, and you need to know that. Then you've got the body of the uh, nerve cell, which is long and thin, and we call an axon. And the electrical impulse travels along the axon. And the axon is surrounded with something called a myelin sheath. And that insulates the nerve cell and makes the electric impulse travel faster. And then at the other end, we've also got branched nerve endings at this end. So it's kind of branched at both ends with a long thin bit at the end called the axon surrounded by a myelin sheath. So what happens when the electrical impulse gets to the end of a neuron? Well, there's another neuron, but there's also a gap between the two. And the gap between two neurons is called a synapse. So what happens is we get our electrical impulse travels down one neuron and it gets to the end at the synapse. And then this neuron releases a substance across the synapse called a neurotransmitter. And that diffuses across the synapse and when the neurotransmitter binds to the dendrites of the next neuron, another impulse starts. So that's the synapse. And remember, different substances affect the speed of chemical transmission across the synapse. Stimulants speed it up, depressants slow it down.